Welcome to Desmos Calculator Bootcamp. This is the fourth video in a series of free training videos about the Desmos Graphing Calculator. Today I'm going to show you something that mm, most people don't know much about, and that's how to create polygons in the Desmos Calculator. Now just so you know, Desmos does have a geometry calculator. This has nothing to do with that. This is the standard graphing calculator, uh, but if you're interested in geometry in Desmos, then I would encourage you to go play with their geometry calculator and see what's in there. Lots of cool stuff. But today, let's just take a look at some of the functionality in the standard graphing calculator. So play along. Go ahead and go to desmos.com and open up a graphing calculator like the one you see here. I'm logged into my calculator. It says my name right here, but you don't have to log in to do this. So you can just go ahead and play without logging in if you choose. Let's go ahead and start by putting in uh, some ordered pairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type a letter. I'm going to choose capital A equals, and then I'm going to put parentheses, and I'm going to make up an ordered pair. So let's just put zero, 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 comma, zero. And what you will notice is when you do that, it places a point in the graph that you can actually move around. Now I'm going to put it back at zero, zero, you can label your point and it will put the ordered pair on the point if you want or if you prefer you can type the A. Now if you didn't know this already if you put little um, I don't know what you call these these little uh, accent marks on either side of the A it will make the A into a font that's more similar to well I don't know so all of that is not necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Now I'm going to create another point, calling it B. So we did 0, 0 for A, so let's do, how about 4, 0 for B. And I'm going to label it, and I'm going to put that little accent marks. Those are the ones up near your tab key, uh, so if you're wondering where is that, that's not an apostrophe, it's actually... Uh, the, right next to your tab key where your tilde is. It's the same button. Alright, there's B. Now let's do C. Um, um, how about 2, 3? This would be a nice looking isosceles triangle here. Not that that matters. Just randomly picking three points. Label, and then I'm going to use the little accent and put my C in there for my label. So it looks nice. All right. Now what's cool is I can go over here to my graph settings and I can make this big. So if I click here, see how big this is now? You can see these points better and you can see this better. Now let's zoom in a little bit using your mouse wheel or you can actually use these buttons over here to zoom in if you prefer. Now what I would like to do is create a polygon or a triangle that connects A, B, and C. So we're going to type the word polygon. Now be sure you do not capitalize this. You want to type P-O-L-Y-G-O-N and notice how it changed. And then in parentheses we're going to put A comma B comma C. And look what happens. It has connected those three points to create a triangle. What's really cool is now I can play with this triangle. I can pull this point around so maybe I want to put that at 0, 5. Now I have a right triangle or I could put this point down here into the fourth quadrant or I could do something like this and kind of mess up my polygon altogether. That's not really a polygon is it because I have A, B, and C are collinear. Uh, but here are some triangles that I can just create by dragging that polygon the vertices of that polygon wherever I want. So that's a quick way to create a polygon in the Desmos graphing calculator. Now that's not the only way to do it, so let's let's leave that one here. I'm gonna put that one up here. Another way to do it is if you know your three order pairs and you're not gonna be moving it around, you could just open parentheses and put your three order pairs in here. So let's put something over here to the left of this one. I'll say the first vertex I want to use is negative 5 comma 0. And the second vertex, let's do negative 6 
negative 2, I think, would be good. Negative 6, comma, negative 2. And see how it's connecting the dots there? And then put a comma, and then let's choose a third vertex. So um, I think I'll go to the right of that one, maybe go back up to the 0. How about negative 2, 0? Yeah, or let's do negative 3, 0. Why not? There we go. All right, and so now I'm going to move this over so you can see what I typed. So I have polygon, open parentheses, and inside I have the three order pairs separated by commas. So that is a static polygon. I can't really move that around. The cool thing about it, though, is if I really wanted to add a vertex and create, um, instead of a triangle, maybe I want a quadrilateral, I could type comma, and let's do negative 4, 1. I'm just going to make something up here. And there now I have a quadrilateral. Notice the color is black. Maybe I don't want it to be that color. I can click and hold on this shape here at the left side. And it's going to pop up this menu. And I can make some changes. So I can make the boundary line dashed or dotted. I can make the polygon a different color. Maybe I'd prefer blue. Uh, the one downside of this method uh, is that I, you see I don't really have labels on the vertices here. I don't know. Yeah, clicking isn't disabled too, so you can't really see the vertices order pairs like you could with the other method. Okay, so let's do the third method. So I'm going to move this up and over, and we'll make something down here. And I think I'll move this up to the top. What I would like to do is add a table. So let's make some order pairs here. Let's start with 0, negative 2. And um, how about, hmm, um, how about 2, negative 5? So we'll put 2 here and negative 5 here. And there's a vertex. And let's do a third vertex. How about negative 1, negative 6? So I'll do negative 1 here and negative 6 here. So I have three vertices. And what I'd really like to do is connect the dots. So let's click and hold here. And then we're going to click on lines and see how it's connected. Well, the only problem is, is I really do want to connect back to that first point. So one way to do that is just to recreate that first point in the table again for your last point. So we'll do 0, negative 2, and bam, I've got myself a polygon. I've got me a triangle anyway. So three different ways, and guess what? I'm sure I've not covered them all. There's bound to be more. Um, three different ways to create a polygon in the Desmos graphing calculator. Uh, it's really nice to create these if you need to create a graphic to put into an assignment. So I can come over here and export my image. And I've got this. You can also turn off your grid lines. Let's say I don't really want my grid. I don't want my axes. I don't want X or Y axis. So I could turn all that stuff off in my settings. And then I could export my images. And then I could place these images into a Google document or into uh, Google Slides or some other application and work with these images. I could draw on them maybe in Google Drawings. You could draw on these things and create some, some text or things to put on here and use them for your activities and assignment. So that's all I have for this really short video. Check it out. If you've never played with polygons in the Desmos Graphic Calculator, go in there today and see what you can uh, create. Uh, I've created a triangle, a quadrilateral, and another triangle, but you can create hexagons and pentagons and all kinds of cool graphics. Check it out. Y'all have a great day.